This electronic unit is a power shot key rectifier. And I had quite a few of them. So my idea was to find an application. And when you study the data sheets of MOSFETs or whatever uh, uh, other types of transistors and diodes, uh, we know that there is always in the uh, diode a certain barrier layer and that barrier layer has a certain capacitance and that capacitance differs with the voltage. So um, I did an experiment to, do, to look whether we could use this power shot key rectifier as a varactor, a varicap. And, uh, well, I did that experiment and it worked very good. I published this circuit, say, two weeks ago or so. And it's very simple, by the way. One transistor, uh, here we set the bias, here we set the oscillation, they work together, so both are responsible for the oscillation or not. And of course, always very important, the coil here with its parallel capacitance is also responsible for the frequency that is sent out. And you can see here the, uh, say, the first part of the coil here and here the other part and that other part is wound over the first part. So I hope you can see it. This is that first coil and this coil slides over that first coil. But of course when you are a little bit acquainted with electronics and radio circuits and then especially um, analog audio oscillators, you will surely know that how that coil was made and the amount of turns uh, is responsible for the frequency. Anyway, well, uh, let's go further on my ID that a shot key rectifier here can be used as a varicap because we have here two diodes inside here, two diodes inside here, and when you vary the voltage to the to this point, and that's done here with the help of this 470k potentiometer going from the ground, the minus, via a protective resistor to the positive here, and that positive can be between 3 volts and 18 volts. So when you vary the voltage here on this critical point, um, the capacitance changes and that capacitance is connected parallel to the coil, say to this part of the coil. So here, in fact, when we look closely to the circuit and study it, here we have parallel to the tank circuit a varying uh, capacitor. When we add voltage to that um, shot key rectifier diode, when it doesn't want to oscillate, reverse A and B. There's another video and I will give the link in the description. It works between 3 volts and 18 volts, of course, on 3 volts, the, uh, say, capacitance variation here cannot be too much. So I've used 12 volts, but it can also work on 18 volts. And again, here we set the oscillation. I will demonstrate it. Uh, these are the uh, shot key rectifiers that I've used. Here's some other ones, they did not want to work, 
only this one wanted to work. And of course this is an experimental circuit uh, when you know a little bit about uh, analog oscillators you will surely find your way. And there are many many oscillators on my YouTube channel. So the schematic again. And then let's look what this circuit can bring. Put on the scope. Now, um, well, now that it is on 12.8 volts, the circuit. You have seen the uh, the coil, the coil that's here, this coil, that can be any coil, in fact, as long as it goes from, say, 1 megahertz to 12 or 15 megahertz. This is the waveform. And now I changed the supply voltage to the uh, shot key diode. By tuning that 1k potentiometer, giving that shot key diode uh, another voltage. So let's see what happens. Here I changed it very, very slowly. You can surely see the frequency changed. This is, by the way, the problem of the circuit. The waveform uh, has a kind of deterioration. It's now on 2.8 megahertz. I turn that potentiometer again, 1K, giving voltage to the to the shot key diode, double shot key diode. You can surely see that the waveform, that the frequency changes, also the waveform, but the frequency change is the most important thing. So with this uh, uh, shot key diode, you, you can use it as a kind of capacitor in a tank circuit. So do some changes. Well, and of course, when you set change the bias a little bit, set here with this potentiometer, you can say regain uh, again a pure waveform. Let me show it. This is changing the bias of the oscillator. So here we have quite good sine wave. I mean good enough to do short wave experiments and it is now 3.2 megahertz and now I tuned it 1k potentiometer again I put on the light because I cannot find the the potentiometer um, now I turn it 1k potentiometer again and now here you can see again Three point nine megahertz, three point four, two point nine, two point nine. So, anyway, um, what I wanted to tell in this video, it's an experimental circuit, and uh, I wanted to talk about the good properties of this double shot key diode that can be used as a varactor. Do your own experiments, always interesting. Uh, the schematic again. In fact the whole idea is simple. This perhaps looks a little bit sloppy, but anyway, when you make it in this way, you, it will surely work. And of course, change do experiments by changing here these two potentiometers to get the oscillator working. Thanks for watching. Pen over the circuit somewhat. Don't want to make it too long. Here is that beautiful shot key, double shot key rectifier. Here is the transistor that does the job. Here is the 1K potentiometer that's responsible for the oscillation. Here the 
other potential meter 22k responsible for the bias thanks for watching and of course when you want to make this in a say neat and better way uh, take in account uh, the two uh, coils they must be wound on a form on a good form say porcelain or or plastic so that there is no not so much temperature change here etc etc well that has everything to do uh, with how to make a stable oscillator and this is the idea uh, in my opinion a very good idea